You know, we all have a lot of photos stored in our albums or boxes, but those aren't the only kinds of pictures that can cause clutter. We take thousands of digital photos every day, and that can start to add up. Professional organizer Andy Willis will show us ways your digital footprint can remain as neat as possible. You might have a lot of pictures. If you're, say, under the age of 35 or so, you probably don't have as many print pictures as those of us older than that are, and most of your pictures are digital. And every day, we take thousands and thousands of digital pictures, and they cause as much clutter as the paper pictures. So when you want to get control of your digital photographs, it's really important that the first step is to gather everything into one place. And usually that place is going to be your computer. So you need to go around and find all of your pictures that are in different places. And it might be SD cards out of your different digital cameras, maybe a USB drive, uh, old CDs, maybe you stored some on an external hard drive. Maybe you've even paid the money to have your print pictures scanned and they're still on the CD from the scanning company. And most importantly, you know you have them on your phone. So we want to get them off of all of these places and put in one central location, which is going to be our computer. Now, if you don't know how to get the photos off your phone, just Google the type of your phone. So this would be like an iPhone 6 and download pictures. And you'll get step-by-step -step instructions on how to get them off of here and onto here. And the idea is you want to have one main folder where you dump all of these pictures into and then you'll go through and do the organizing process. But if you can put all of your pictures in one place, you're doing really great. Um, one last thing you need to do after you get everything onto your computer is you need to make sure your computer is backed up, either to the cloud through a, a company like Carbonite or Backblaze or iCloud. Um, so you have a cloud-based copy of your computer, or at the very, very least, your documents and your photographs. You could back it up on an external hard drive. Um, these are huge now, and they don't cost very much money. Make one copy and take it off-site away from your house, maybe to a friend's house, to a safety deposit box. Keep that safe. Um, and you could have another one that you keep at your own house. But have two to three backups of all the important data on your computer, because you do not want to lose these precious photographs. Once you have them in one place, we can start organizing them. Andy always shares great tips, and for more organizing tips, you can visit her website. That's www.goodlifeorganizing.net.